Hi, this is Guy Menace with Warrior Dynamics in Newburgh, Indiana. And we're going to talk about how to make a semi-automatic pistol safe. This is a Glock 36. It holds six rounds of magazine, one in the chamber for a total of seven 45 caliber rounds. The first thing you want to always think about with any gun that you're going to make safe is to make sure you keep the muzzle pointed in a safe direction while you're handling the gun. And then also be sure that you keep your finger outside of the trigger guard while you're doing these different manipulations. So we're going to pick the gun up, point it in a safe direction, press in on the magazine catch, remove the magazine, and get it out of your hand. We're going to take our hand and reach over the top, back here at the back of the slide where the serrations are. The fingertips here will be on these serrations. The heel of my hand will be on these serrations and I want to be careful to keep my hand away from the ejection port so that the round can come out freely and uh, my hand doesn't interfere with that. So I grip here, I'm going to push this way with the, with the frame and I'm going to pull this way with the slide and I want to do that in a very forceful manner. And I let that round just fly out. It hits the ground, it's okay, it's not going to explode, don't worry about it. Don't pick that round up right now. Take care of the gun first. And by that I mean we're going to continue with our making this gun safe. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to grab the slide, we're going to hold on this time, and we're going to rack it all the way to the rear and all the way to the front three times. And then after we've done that, we are then going to press up on this little gizmo right here, which is your, your slide stop. And we pull the slide back and we press this up into this notch and that locks your slide to the rear. Once the slide is locked to the rear, look into the chamber and make sure the chamber is empty. So you look in there and you do a visual check and then you do a physical check by sticking your finger in there and feeling that it is empty. Now if you're wondering, what am I looking for? Well, this is what you're looking for. You will be looking for that right there. You'll be looking for the back end of a 45 caliber round or whatever caliber it is that you're you're uh, making your gun safe, the kind of the caliber of the gun that it is. So that's what we're looking for. Now once we've done that visual physical check of the chamber and we're certain that there's nothing in the chamber, then we turn the gun upside down and we look into the magazine well and we make absolutely certain that there's no magazine there. But we do that with another visual physical check. I look and I stick my finger in there. So now I've checked this, I've checked here, and I would bet my life this gun is safe. And that's exactly what you're doing. You are betting your life. When you tell someone that your gun is safe and now you hand it to that person, especially if it's a novice, they are depending on you. So always remember, that's how serious this is. You're betting a life that this gun is safe when you say it's safe. Let's say that you were going to do some dry fire practice. And here's what you would need to do in that situation. You would want to remove the ammunition from your magazine and you would want to count it. Again, this is just a redundant check. So we got six there. We've got one on the floor here. Let me grab that one real quick because now I'm done with that gun and it's okay for me to pick up that round off of the floor. I now have seven rounds. I have an empty magazine, I have a safe gun, no round in the chamber, no magazine in the, in the well. I pick up my rounds and I remove these, these rounds, this ammunition, from the room that I'm going to dry fire in. You should also do this whenever you're cleaning a gun. There should be no live ammo in that room. So always remember, when I dry fire practice or I clean a gun, there should be no live ammunition in that room. Why? Well, I can give you a real good reason. I'm a uh, 
retired police officer with the Evansville Police Department and I have uh, worked more than one shooting where I went to the uh, emergency room and I talked with the victim who had shot themselves accidentally and every one of them said damn I thought that gun was unloaded <laughs> as they have a hole in their hand or a hole in their leg and if they're lucky it was a superficial wound if you're unlucky it could kill you so that's the uh, safety protocol if you follow my safety proto protocol I can guarantee you that when you do this and you don't skip any of these any of these steps that I've showed you you can be very confident that your gun is safe.